Hello everybody, it's Toro from Toro Cards KC. Today, as promised, I have for you a video. It's going to be my longest video so far, my largest video so far, my most expensive video so far. So, we're going to pray to the Pokemon gods and hope that I get some good stuff. Maybe I don't have to mortgage the house for the second time. So, hopefully we get some good stuff. Um, and we're going to get, see this product for the first time because I've not opened up any Elite Trainer boxes. I did uh, open up some previous product, but not none of the Elite Trainer boxes. So, I'm not sure what to get. So, we'll do the first box. We're going to rip it open. And then we're going to see what you get out of an Elite Trainer box. You get some special goodies uh, that I've been told are decent goodies. Um, but then you get some some packs that hopefully will have some good cards in them. And uh, we're going to see what we get. Um, this is, I've been told by a lot of collectors, this is the set of the year. A good set to collect, a large set to collect. But the cards look nice. Um, they're in good shape most of the time. Um, and it is a very playable set. So, we're going to rip eight boxes, guys. And like I said, if you want to see more content like this, you want to see me go broke, like, subscribe. Um, I'll have more videos for this, but this, I think, will be my last uh, video for the 151 product. But we'll see what else comes out. I'm told next week in the future, we've got some more new product coming out. I'll probably get some of that if I hear some good things about it. So, let's get started. Let's rip the first box and see what we get. And like I said, we'll just briefly give a real quick what we get inside the box. The next boxes, we'll just rip through them pretty quickly to keep this video short. I know it's going to be kind of a long video because it's eight boxes, guys. But there we go. Front just slides out. And you do get a really nice book that I think has a lot of illustrations in it. It'll tell you what to expect, what kind of cards, a full checklist full color photos of all of them so no surprises as to what you should could get in this product but it is a large set so chances are that we open up eight boxes we might get close to a set i don't know we might but let's hope we get some of the the big cards that we're hoping to get all right so there's that we open up this box and we have All right, guys, we have some special. There's one of the cards you get. Not a bad look, my card, Snorlax. And then you get some spacers for your box. You put the box in here, you get the spacer so you can put your collection together. And I think these are all just uh, energy cards. But let's open the pack just to make sure, because it looks like there might be energy, but I don't know. There could be other cards in there. So we'll open up this pack to see what's in there. And it's just all energy, guys. Just different color energy. So we've got that curiosity out of the way. And we've got this package of sleeves. Not exactly too exciting, but still. It's a free pack of sleeves. Put that to the side. Put the spacers and that to the side. And what else do we have in here? We have some dice. Pretty cool. And we have some markers of some kind. Put those to the side. That's it for the box, guys. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs that we're going to get out of each box. So. Let's put everything to the side here, and let's get started on these packs, and see what we get. Okay. Base cards, pretty simple, guys. Just going to squeeze by those real quick. An Aerodactyl foil to start off with. Energy cards. All right. A 
a Mewtwo foil card, average foil, uneventful so far. Base cards, Chensi, Chensi foil, your average foil. Base cards. Okay, so we're not, not eventful so far. Vaporeon. So we got four packs in. We got four base foils. Nothing too exciting just yet. Honestly, I'm thinking hopefully maybe just one good card per, per, per box. I'd be happy with that. Just your average foil again, guys. Hmm. <laughs> So far, we're not doing too great. It's got to be getting better, I would think. All right. There is, I've been told, these are special illustration cards. Looks like a squirrel. <laughs> But that's a pretty cool looking picture. And then your basic foil on the back is a Flareon. All right, so we got one special illustration card. Hopefully that's not the only one in this pack, this box. All right. Just your average foil. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get something good. Let's get something good. Nope. A Charmeleon foil. I think it's just your average foil. Oh, there we go. There's an EX card. Alakazam. An EX Alakazam, guys. It's one of the cards we're looking for. That's not bad. So we've got a full illustration card and an EX card. Not bad. So that's just two cards, two good cards in this box. All right, let's keep it going. And there we go. Another foil card. It's a full art there. Bills transfer. And your basic energy. All right, guys, that was it for that box. So I'll do a quick recap on that one. There's the full art. Bills transfer. There's an Alakazam. It's your average foils. And there's a, I was told, the full illustration card. War Turtle. And foil, 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 and foil. So, not bad. Three decent cards in that box. But we're going to keep going. Let's see what else we can get. Let's get to that second box. Alright, so if we can average three decent cards per, per box, I'll be happy with that. I won't complain too much. Alright, so there's the book. And there's the box. There's all the other stuff you get in there, guys. So I'm just going to get the packs, and we're just going to start ripping, and we'll put everything onto the side. We know what we get inside each box. So there's no mystery there anymore. We're just going to get straight to the packs. All right. That's what everybody wants to see. Just the good stuff. Just the good stuff. Dragonite, basic basic foil. Oh, that's a pretty cool looking energy. It's like a ton of foil energy. It looks really cool to it. It's got to be better than your average energy card. It looks like a foil energy. It's pretty cool.
Needle King. That's your average foil. And your energy. So we're starting to the same thing as the same but slam last box. The first few packs are gonna be average. And then we got to the last three packs, which were better than average. So we'll go here. Uh, so your average foil. All right, guys. What do we have here? Oh, so it's a much amp, but it's your basic foil. Still cool looking foils. The first five packs are out of the way here. Hopefully we're getting to the better stuff toward the bottom of the packs. There we go. This looks like one of those full illustration cards. An Omanite. That's pretty cool. And then an Alakazam foil right behind it. So that's one of those full art, those full illustration guys, I'm sorry. Full illustration, I'm told. Okay, so now we're getting to the back half. We're getting to the better pulls. It looks like it's going to be the same for all the boxes. The better pulls are toward the back. Okay, there's a Vaporium base foil. And then another one of those shiny, shiny energies. Those are good looking cards. That's better than your average energy. At least they look pretty cool. Just your average foil. Vile Plume. All right, last two packs, guys. It feels good. It feels like it's going to be lucky. Oh. Just your average foil. Flareon. All right, let's get some last pack magic on this one. We only got one good card so far. Nope, the dough drip guy, but another special energy. That's pretty cool. So that was a little unexciting on that box. We came down to earth, guys. Dough drip. Vile plume. Vaporeon. There's the only good card we got in this box, guys. There you go. So that's, a, that's one of those uh, full illustration cards. And there's the Alakazam EX card. I don't know how good that card is, but it's an EX. So maybe a decent card. So maybe two good cards in this box. Not bad. All right, let's keep going, guys. Just get these out of the way. The book. Pull that out. It doesn't want to come out. All right. And there's the packs. And we'll put the box to the side. All right. Let's keep going. This is box number three, guys. We're about to open. Needle King foil. Okay. And then those cool looking energies. Put 
these cards to the side over here. My stack's getting a little big. Vile Plume. Okay. So, same as the first two boxes, guys. The first three packs just look, look like they're kind of base. Nothing really exciting. There's the Machamp foil. Basic energy. So I know not to start getting excited until about pack number five. Pack number five usually has something decent in it. Okay. There's a foil. Giovanni's Charisma. That looks like it's full art. Not a bad looking card. Don't know how useful it is, but it is a full, full art card. What I tell you guys, pack number five. A Blastoise EX. Ah, uh, that's a beautiful looking card. That's one of the ones we're looking for. Look how look how shiny that is with the stars. That is pretty. Alright, see? Fifth pack. So it looks like it's the fifth pack that's the good good stuff. But we will keep going. Like we have an aerodactyl and another one of those foil energies. Put a deck together with just the foil energies, guys. It might look really sharp. All right, pack number six, seven. Here we go. This is a full illustration Pikachu, guys. That's a sharp looking card too. Again, the back half of the box is this the good stuff. And your basic energy. Pack number seven. Number eight, sorry. Pack number eight. So that box turned out a little better. A Gyarados foil. And let's get that last pack of magic in this box too. Let's see if we can get something. Nope, Dodrio. Okay, so we got two decent cards in that one. We got again. It looks like the pattern is at least one full illustration and one one rare, one foil rare that we'd like. In this case, it was the Blastoise EX. And the Giovanni's Charisma. Not bad looking cards. So that was that. All right, let's keep going. Box number four. There's the book. There's the box. There's the divider. And there's the packs. Everything else we're leaving in there. All right, guys. So we're still looking for some of the other EX cards that we need. But some of those, uh, Full art cards are pretty sharp looking. I'm not going to complain too much. All right, first pack had a ditto foil. All right, here we go. 
looks like another EX cards, guys. Pretty sharp looking card. A Jinx EX card. Not too bad. Good looking card. So that was uh, out of character because we got that in the first four packs. Dragonite foil. Keep it moving here. Just a basic foil. All right. All right, guys. We should be hitting something decent pretty pretty soon. Beedrill. Pack number five, I think. This is the magic pack. Nope, just an average Dodrin. Dodrin foil. Right, so this box was out of character. So maybe we'll see the, the better cards toward the last two, two or three packs. Okay. Foil. Your average Machamp. Come on. A Chauncey. Chancy. I don't know how you say that. Last pack. So far, this box was a dud if we don't get something good. There we go. A Zapdos EX. Again, good looking cards. All right, guys, so that box, that's some nice special one. Zapdos EX. My champ. And then we have the Dragonite, and then we had the full. There's another EX, a Jinx EX, and a Zapdos EX in that box. So. Below average, but still a good box, I think. All right, let me make some room for this other stuff. As my workspace is getting a little heavy, a little busy over here. But we're on to box number five. And that's kind of why I decided to do this video for, for eight boxes, guys, because you can't judge a book by just one, one box. You may get a bad box, you may get a super great box, but Law of Averages says that if you buy enough boxes, you'll get some good stuff, you'll get some bad stuff, but to judge it just by one box is probably not a good idea because I have seen some great boxes, I've seen some below average boxes, but overall I think if you buy, you know, three or four boxes, I think you'll be happy with the product. But let's start with box number five. Okay, Gyarados, foil. Starting off a little on the average side. Getting the hang of opening up these packs. There we go, guys. Charizard EX. That's what we're looking for. So, it was box number five, guys, that I... It took me box five before I hit the gold Charizard EX. But look at it. It's a pretty card. Yep. So this box started off better than average, and that's what I just said earlier. One box can't make them break this product, but you got to give it a, a few tries to open up a few. There you go, Dragonite foil. Your basic energy. We hit that uh, gold Charizard out of the second pack out of this box, so not bad. There you go, basic foil. All right. Come on, let me 
we gotta make this box special. A beadroll foil. Dudrio foil. There we go. Machoki, Machoke. That looks like a full illustration card, guys. So it's not too bad. We've got a gold illustration card out of this. Uh, Machoke. Machoki. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And a regular Machamp. So this box had two good cards so far. Go Chauncey. Look how pretty those cards look, guys. Those foil energy cards. I think they're pretty cool. Last pack, box number five. We need something more special. Make it a special, special box. Well, looks like we got one. All right, so this is a Jinx EX. Not bad, we've already pulled one of those, but... Any EXs we pull are, are appreciated always. All right, so that was it, guys. Out of that box, we got the Jinx EX. Got the Machoki, full illustration art. And the big one, the Gold Charizard EX. So that was a good box. And that was box number five, guys. All right, here we go. Box number six. Rip this. All right, there's the book. To the side, there's the box. There's the divider. And there's the packs. And there's everything else we're gonna leave away. All right, guys, here we go. Box number six. I hope everybody's still with me. I know this is going to be one of the longer videos. But I think hopefully it's worth it. Oh, we got out right off the start. We're starting off with the Zapdos EX. So not bad way to start this one. Box, it looks like they're getting better on the, on the last half of the, the break here. But that's a good looking card too. A Zapdos EX. Like I said, any EX cards are always appreciated. And let me take some time to put some battery pack in this my phone because it's about to die. So let me deuce it up a little bit. There we go. And we'll go with this back. Sorry guys, didn't realize my phone was that low again. All right, so. And there's a Mewtwo EX. So two packs and two EXs, guys. Not a bad way to start this box. Maybe we got a loaded box. I don't know. We'll see. All right, here we go. Now, just a Flareon foil. But we're only three packs in, and we already got two EXs, so it can only get better from here. Just a Mr. Mime foil. Would be nice to also get a foil illustration card. Right, guys so our third EX in this card well, that, that's a really cool looking card
Dragonair? A Dragonair EX? No, it's not an EX. Is it EX? Yeah, it is. No, that's a full art, guys. Sorry. Full art. A Dragon X, Dragonair full art card. I didn't see the, the gray border on this. That's what I've been told is the full art versus the EX. And a Raichu foil. Okay, so this box has been pretty good. Two EXs and a full art card. And we're still not done. We could hit more. Foil card. All right, let's keep going. Chauncey foil. Two packs left. Wow, back to back Chanceys. Back to back Chanceys, Chancey cards. I don't know if there's anything special about them, but same two cards. Back to back packs. Pretty crazy. Last pack, guys. And. Looks like a Daisy's Help Trainer foil card. Full, full picture on that. Cool looking card. So that box was, I think, the best card so far. But it's not too bad. There's the Daisy's Help foil. There's the full art card. The Dragonair. And then the two EX cards in the toward the beginning, the first two packs, the Mew EX and the Zapdos EX. So that was a better than average box, I think. All right, here we go. Box number seven. Divider. And there's the packs and everything else we're putting to the side. All right, guys, let me clean up my area here just a little bit. And then we'll get back to ripping these last two because these stacks are getting awfully high. Put those to the side. And then we'll go. A Venusaur EX. So we're starting off hot. The last two boxes, last three boxes, looks like they're pretty good. A Venusaur EX. And there's those energy cards that are foil. Pretty cool. Uh, so Gyarados foil. Energy. Sorry guys, we're over half an hour, but if you're still with me, we're still ripping some good stuff. And like I said, I always appreciate the subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, let me take the bullet for you. This stuff's not cheap. It's $50 a box. But hopefully we get some good stuff. And just your average foil, Flexion. All right. We started off with the bang on this box. It's kind of cooled down a bit. But hopefully we can get the heat back up again. There we go. 
Okay, so another EX. I think this is a different picture, but it's I think it's the same card, it's a different picture. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. We've seen this Jinx before, Jinx EX, but I think that's a different picture. Maybe. We'll wait till the end and we'll we'll compare the cards. I might just be out of my mind. Go. Foil. Come on, come on. Right you. All right, come on. Let's get something good. Let's get something good. There we go. A Nine Tails EX. That's another one of the ones we're looking for. Good looking card. And last packs, box number seven. We still need a full art card. Let's see if we can get one. And we did. A Mr. Mime full art card. Not too bad. And basically, well. All right, so the recap on that one, guys. You go there's the full art card mr mime and there's the ex card nine tails and then toward the beginning we got another one there's the the ex jinx but uh, i think that's a different picture i'm not sure all right so that was a pretty good box too looks like they're heating up toward the end guys I'm not going to complain. We started off a bit cold and maybe not as exciting. But once we pulled that uh, Gold Charizard, we did all right. All right. There we go. There's the book. The box. There's the lid. There's the divider. There's the nine packs, and there's the box. All right, guys, last box. Okay. A wheezing foil. Vile plume, foil, Flareon, foil. some good stuff there's the full art guys the special art card war total you've seen this one before and then right behind it is a nine tails ex wow same pack guys We've got a full art full illustration art and a nine tails ex card so that was a really good pack And that one was turned upside down in the in the packs. Maybe we were expecting something good out of that one. I don't know. Maybe that was a clear way to tell somebody it's a good 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 pack. Go just a foil card. Come on, 
Chauncey. Last three packs of the break, guys. And Kabudos foil. There we go, guys. Blastoise EX. That's another one of the cards we're looking for. Pretty cool looking card. And the last pack is an electrode foil. Okay. And that was it, guys. That's it for the last the last rip there. Eight boxes of the Pokemon 151 Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, I'm not going to do a recap because this, this video is way too long already. But uh, you can pause the video whenever you see something that you want to see again. Um, and if, like I said, if you like content like this, like, subscribe. Hopefully in the next month or so I haven't taken out four mortgages to pay for this stuff. But we'll see. Um, I think we did some good pulls. Uh, overall, I think this is a great looking product. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, at least to put a set together. It's very playable. And I like it. And that's all I have for you today, guys. So like, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.